This is Julian Arredondo of Trek Factory Racing's Trek Speed Concept Team Issue Time Trial Bike. And you might be able to spot something slightly different about the bike, and that's the wheel size. To get his perfect position on the bike, Arredondo, who isn't the tallest rider in the peloton, goes for a bike with 26 inch wheels. Starting at the top of the bike, the saddle is a Bontrager High Low Triple X with a groove down the middle. It's also got carbon rails and a carbon base. The handlebars are Bontrager Speed Concept. They're full carbon and the extensions are also full carbon. Shifting is provided by Shimano's ever-reliable Dura-Ace Di2 and he's got his two shifters on the extensions which means he can change gears at the rear without leaving his aerodynamic tuck position. Chain rings are 42.55 because you generally ride a little bit faster in a time trial and the cassette is an 11 through to 23, a close range cassette so that the jumps between the gears aren't too big. Braking actually isn't provided by Shimano, they're provided by Trek's integrated brakes pretty cool feature on this frame. Another cool feature of the frame is the camtail virtual aerofoil design. That means that the shapes don't look typically aerodynamic, but the leading edge ensures that they remain aerodynamic throughout. Now, the thing with 26-inch wheels is actually most wheel and tire manufacturers don't make 26-inch road stuff anymore. So, I think that Trek Factory Racing have maybe had to depart from their sponsor's usual products for this bike. The dimples on the rear disc and the front wheel make them look like they could be zips rebadged as Bontragers. The front wheel is interestingly a clincher that has a Bontrager clincher tyre on it. Most riders prefer tubulars in nearly every case. And that's true with the rear wheel, which is a tub, and that has a Continental Sprinter tubular on. The Sprinter isn't Conti's top of the range tyre, but due to the restrictions that are faced when you're looking for niche equipment like this, that's probably why the mechanics have had to go for that. A couple of things I've spotted on this bike. This and also the insulating tape around the valve on the front wheel. Now, many brands actually sell properly designed valve hole cover for disc wheels, but the Trek mechanics show that you don't need that, you just need a bit of gaffer tape, works just as well. The front valve is wrapped in black insulating tape to stop it rattling around. Little noises like that, especially when you're trying really hard in the time trial, are just gonna be really, really annoying. The weight of this bike. Time trial bikes, because they have basically a bit more material, disc wheel, aero shapes, tend to come in a little heavier and that's true with this bike which came in at just under eight kilograms. If you'd like to see our top 10 ways to lose weight, click there. To see our top 10 ways to get aero like a pro, click down there. And finally, to subscribe to GCN, click on me.